Good morning. I am packing up for an overnighter here in January. It's supposed to be around negative seven. Wind chill might get it to negative 15. So I figured I would take this time and I would show you what my pack loadout is for something around, you know, that can go anywhere from 10 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go through just kind of everything out here real quick and tell you what goes into my pack and there's two ways. So. So first things first, I'm going to show you here, this is a dream hammock I have, it's a double layer hammock, 1.7 uh, hexon, and it's got a top cover with it, and I got some 15 foot straps in there with a little bit of Dutch wear gear on there. Next up for my shelter is I have a Cuban fiber tarp with doors. This is super lightweight, these are really nice if you want to save on weight, but keep in mind they do not scrunch down as easily as silk poly nylon tarps and such like that. So in here, I have a little bit of hardware on there as well. It's in a snake skin, I keep it on there. Of course, I'm gonna take the stakes. I got snow stakes for this trip. I'm gonna bring four of them. Sometimes I'll bring five or six. It all depends on what I'm feeling. If I wanna tarp it out a little bit more, tie it out more. Um, next is an outdoor research compression dry bag. And what's in here is I have two top quilts. So I have a 30 and a 20 degree top quilt. And then I have two under quilts, which are both 20 degree with a little bit of overstuff. So they get you down to about 15 degrees just on their own. And I'm gonna be stacking those, both of those. And then I also have a Costco down throw blanket in here that I just kind of put where needed. Like maybe it's at my feet or around my head or my neck if I get too cold there. This is a really nice compression sack that um, smushes everything down and normally I just put it on the outside of my pack when I hike. It gives me a little extra room and it keeps all the down dry and so forth. So now that I have my shelter and my warmth, I'm going to go over what I'm wearing on the trip. So going in there, I have a pair of merino wool socks. These are darn tough ones. They're actually really nice. If it's really cold, I'll wear some long underwear. This is just polyester long underwear. My go-to pants for summer and winter for hiking are uh, these Prana convertible pants. They're zip off. You can basically take them and zip them apart so they go into shorts. You're not gonna want that in the winter, of course, but the material dries really quick on them. Uh, you can just get a lot of camping pants have the same material. But these are really nice, so if I get snow on them, they dry quick. On my chest and my core, I have a merino wool uh, long sleeve shirt that I put, I wear. This is what I hike in on, because this will get wet. Once this gets wet, I change out of it, but it's really warm for hiking in there. Followed up by a polyester shirt. This is just an Under Armour one that I got a while back when I was in Yellowstone about 10 years ago. It's lasted me a long time. You've probably seen it in a lot of my other videos. Um, also on the outside, I will wear right here, which looks to be like it's a sweater. It's just uh, polyester. It's kind of nice. It's got a little zipper pocket up here on the shoulder. I'll sometimes keep in some batteries and extra goodies and stuff in there. So uh, sometimes I'll just wear a hooded sweatshirt as well. On my head, of course, I'm just going to be wearing a wool hat. That's really warm, keeps me warm. And I usually wear hiking in just a light pair of gloves. These are super cheap. You can get like four for like two bucks at Walmart. They're just super cheap gloves. They rip eventually, so you just kind of replace them. But they're really nice to just cut that wind and that cold that's coming through there. And once I get to camp, or if it's really bone chilling cold, I go to full mitts. Um, I find I get better warmth and circulations if my hand's in a full mitt. Also, I can always throw a heat pack right up in here and just keep it warm. These are just a really nice pair of mitts that I picked up a couple years ago and they've done me well. Next up is this down vest. It's something I keep, you'll see me meet sometimes wearing around the campfire. Uh, it's a really useful piece of equipment I like to have. It's something that you can scrunch up. You can throw in your foot box or around your feet if you're cold. Most of the time, uh, that's where this will be is I'll wrap my feet around it at night. That is, I'll wrap my feet around it at night. 
if I don't bring the down booties, but when you're going into negative temps, down booties are something that I like to just shove in there. They can press down really nice and easy. Uh, my boots, right now I'm just wearing my boots that I wear for all seasons, and these are the Solomon, uh, I forget what they're called. The Solomon 4D is actually what they're called, and I wear them, they work. When I get into camp, I usually clear off my pass with snow and I'll go to the down booties. Now a lot of people have had problems with these Banff down booties in the past where they ripped and uh, right along the seams. I've been taking care of these for the past two years and I've used them walking about and I haven't had them rip apart, but I've been very careful with them. So if you get a pair of down booties, walk very carefully with them. Lastly, for spare clothing and what I bring in, all I bring in is a pair of socks. I just bring in one extra pair. They're once again, wool socks. These are usually a little longer, maybe a little looser. I'll switch out into those. And then I have uh, Under Armour Cold Gear, which is polyester. It's got this soft, like, kind of cloth, I guess, like material on the inside. It's my night shirt and it's kind of what I sleep in. So with that, that's what I'm going to wear. Now next up, this is my cook kit. I have found that uh, the Whisper Light works considerably better in cold temperatures rather than the alcohol stove. I always have the alcohol stove. It just takes more fuel to heat up water in the morning there. So in the Whisper Light, I keep it in its bag. Uh, it's got a tin foil windscreen. It's got a lighter and the whisper light itself, the fuel canister. This is something that I like to just bring in. This is nice to have. You gotta pump and prime it. It takes a little bit more work. This is my cook kit. This all condenses down. So this is my cup for drinking. This is if I wanna eat out of a cup here. I basically, I have a little carbon fiber thing there that can go right I think, I forget, no, that's not what it's called, it's something else. But uh, it doesn't burn at all. I put it underneath there just so it cooks. My fuel's in there, my windscreen. This is just a handkerchief if I ever need it for anything. I kind of shove them all in there. They all go in at once. Put the lid on. Put this in here. <clears throat> and this is my full cook kit and what I bring. This is normally just what I bring in the summer, but I'll bring it in the winter too. I got my spoon in here. Also in here, let's see if I can take it out. We have the spoon. We have a lighter. I always like to carry one or two lighters on me just to have for safety. And then I have a little bag that's filled with salt and pepper and goodness in here. So this is for you know, if you want to spice up your meal or throw something on there, this is kind of just my little cook kit with that. And I keep it all in the bag. I don't know why. Maybe I'll go away from it eventually, but it's worked well for me so far, so why stop that? Food. Once again, this is an Ursac. I just carry the food in there. I'll carry, you know, a Mountain House meal or two in there. I'll always have a snack bag. This snack bag is filled with goodies like... Uh, the Justin's peanut butters. I found these like fruit leather strips at Target that are really good. You know, maybe a granola bar or two. I have my instant coffee if I need it. I got regular hot chocolate in here. You know, you got some other crunchy stuff. You can have apple cider on the colder days. And then of course, there's always going to be a little bit of granola and a little bit of you know, energy with Cliff Bar. A couple other things, depending on what you need. And then I just that's usually just shoved up on the bag. I carry one headlamp. If it fails me, it fails me, but it hasn't done that yet. It's a uh, black diamond uh, spot, I guess is what it is. You can tap it to change your brightness. I'm not overly a fan of this. This is, uh, it just works. It, the batteries go really quick on it, but uh, especially in the cold, they go even quicker, but it's always in there. And my backup, if that light ever goes is I always have my flashlight on my phone. So 
Phone is one of the things I carry in my pocket. My wallet and such, I normally will put in the pack and zip her in before I hike anywhere, along with my car keys as well, because that can just get dangerous. Water bottle, it's Nalgene right here. Just your regular Nalgene. Um, has a carabiner clip if I hang it on the outside. I've had this for over 20 years, so it's done, done good by me. I'll keep that. Uh, this, this is my poop kit, med kit, of course. If something goes wrong, I've always had it on the side of my pack, so it just, you know, you can rip it off and take it. But in this kit, there is a lot of stuff. So right here is a poop kit with hand sanitizers, wet wipes, it's got toilet paper and such like that. Of course, I got sunscreen. You might not need it in the winter as much, but it might come along. A little toothbrush, toothpaste here. I have, uh, this is fire starter stuff that's pretty much worn out or gone down. I also have an extra four ounces of fuel for my alcohol stove. That is, this is like my emergency. If something happens and I need a backup, this is it right here. And then um, there's definitely some couple clothespins in here and such. Um, I have some couple medical stuff, some of the bigger stuff if you get a big bad gash. There's moleskin in there and so forth. And then this little bag that's usually out on top, this has Advil, your regular Band-Aids, has a couple earplugs. Um, it has um, ointment for burns, um, people that suffer bug, bug bites and stuff. Sometimes in the summer when I go, I take a smaller med kit and everything because this is a little heavy. But um, I'm usually with another person or two and this has almost everything that I need in it. Um, little chapstick. I think I got an emergency blanket in here too in case uh, somebody needs it and they're not, they're not uh, warm enough and they need the emergency blanket to just throw, kind of wrap themselves around there. And of course, I do bring hot hands or hot packs, heat packs. A lot of people debate whether or not to bring these out in the cold. But in my opinion, the weight just to carry like a set of four of these or two of these is really good in case you need it. Uh, sometimes when I pack up and it's like negative five degrees out, you know, my fingers get really cold. So I'll use hot hands to just kind of put them in there and it helps my gloves keep my fingers a little bit warm. Or sometimes I'll just throw them in, uh, you know, my boots before uh, I get up in the, you know, moving in the morning. And then those will just uh, heat up and I'll be good to go. You know, I won't put my feet in cold boots, you know. Um, lastly, a couple other things that I'll bring. These are hiking sticks. Um, most of the time I am going to be bringing the pulk, so Hiking sticks are perfect for that. Uh, if I'm pulling something, it gives me that little extra oomph. That pull. This is my saw. It's a uh, Bob Dustrude saw. It's a guy in Ely, Minnesota. He makes these. So The last few things that I take is I always have this in my pack, which is just a giant down jacket. This is something that I'll wear when I'm at the campsite to warm up and even when I end with that jacket, I have a neck gaiter. So I'll put the neck gaiter on and you know, keep my neck and chin warm. So it's one of those nice things to have. Lastly, the raincoat. If it gets slushy and rainy, you need to worry about that. So and now that's everything that goes in my pack if I'm hiking in and it's not that deep of snow. But as the snow gets deeper, I do bring some snowshoes here. Um, I'm a little bit of a bigger guy, so I need the ones that are a little bit longer that spread the weight out a little bit better to keep me on top of the snow. I'll bring these. I'll pack them in. Um, I also will be pulling a pulk most of the time when the snow is deeper which allows me to carry some extra weight. So I will be bringing a negative 25 flannel sleeping bag in as well. This is super comfortable. This will get me down to even further temps if I need it, which is nice. But with a pulk, you have all this extra room so you can do that. So I just put in a giant 
duffel bag in the pulp. I'll load my bag in with all my other gear. It'll get loaded in and then zip it up. And then once it's zipped up, I have these straps that go over top and I'll clip in these straps and then tighten them down and it secures the load as I pull it here with the rope. And how I pull it is I have a camel pack here that I would be wearing. I'd have extra hat and gloves in here, any other warm stuff, some snacks and stuff. And I just hook this through the side loops here where the waist belt is and I haul it that way. Thanks for watching, and remember that everybody's pack loadout is different. Everybody uses a different, you know, sleeping method, whether they want to use one sleeping bag, two sleeping bags, or if they want to double up with a bunch of warm clothes and sweaters and hats. Everybody has their own way of doing it. I hope this showed you how I do it. I hope when you plan ahead, it gives you a little bit of, you know, a framework to build off of for yourself, for what you maybe wouldn't bring, or maybe you would bring, you know. You don't necessarily need to pack as much as I pack, but I do it to stay warm and to stay safe because weather can turn pretty quick when uh, you're in the negative temperatures. So thanks for watching and have a good day.